So here is the fabric I'll be working with. It's 23 inches by width and 23 inches long. So what I'm going to do is to fold this in half just like this and then fold it again just like I just did. So this edge right here is on fold and the other ends are open. So we are going to start our measurement from the part where it's on fold right on top. I'm going to measure 11 inches. So 11 inches is not static. You could make yours smaller or bigger. 11 inches is basically like a medium size. So I'm just going to mark that all the way. So I'm going to cut out that part. And we have a circle. So I would use this circle to cut out another piece because we need two of this circle. So I'm going to be using this plain purple satin fabric. So I'm just going to place the circle and use it to trace out the plain purple one. So I'm going to place the circles together right sides facing just like that and then I'll pin them down together. So I'm going to pin it all the way around and then fold it once just like I did. So what I'm going to do is to mark 3.5 right there and then 3 inches and then I'm just going to connect it with a slight curve. So once I was done doing that, I'll just cut that part out. So this is what it looks like. The next thing to do would be to pin it down at both sides. And then run a straight stitch at the curve. So here is the result. By the way, when it's pinned down, it has to be right sides facing. So I'm just going to place little snips such that by the time it's ironed out, it comes out flat and nice. So I'll turn it the other way around, just like I'm doing. And then I'll have to go iron this out. So this is what it looks like ironed out already. The next thing to do would be to pin it all the way around. But once I was done doing that, I would have to keep this and then work on the straps. So I have a long strip of fabric for the ties, 6 inches by width and 74 inches by length. So for this long fabric, I would have to fold half an inch on each side and then I would iron that out. So we would have to do this to the end. And once we're done doing that, we would have to fold it again just like this and then iron it out. So the next thing for me to do will be to get to the bottom and then mark 2 inches. So I'll mark 2 inches right there and then I'll connect that 2 inch mark to the end just like I'm doing. And I'll cut that out. I'll repeat the same for the other end. The next thing to do would be to determine the midpoint of the long piece of fabric and then place a little notch. And from that midpoint, I would have to determine the circumference of my head. Mine is 22 inches. So from that midpoint right there, I would mark 11 inches on both sides. So 11 inches at this end. I mark that at the beginning. And then right there in the middle, I would also place my tape measure and mark the second 11 inches and then place a mark. So I have 22 inches right in the middle and then open up the end part of the long fabric and then make sure the right sides are facing each other and then I'm just going to pin it down and run a straight stitch.
I'll show you what I mean. So I'll go run a straight stitch all the way from there to where it ends and then I'll repeat the same process for the end part. The middle is open and then we're going to close the end. So here is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is to turn the sewed part to the right side, just like I'm doing. I'm going to repeat the same process for the other end. Once I'm done doing this, I would have to iron this out. And here is what it looks like. So the next thing would be to determine the midpoint of the open part. So I'm going to mark that and then I would introduce the hair bonnet itself. So what I'm going to do is to run a basting stitch all the way and then I would have to gather that up. The gathering would be based on your head circumference or the circumference of your head. And this is the result. What I'm going to do is to check if I have 22 inches. Yeah, so the next thing would be to introduce the strap or the ties itself and then determine the midpoint, which we did already. We would also need to determine the midpoint of the hair bonnet itself and place a notch, just like I did. And then I'll tuck it into the ties, just like I'm going to show you now. So the half an inch seam allowance we took on both sides are going to be used now. So I'll tuck it in and make sure both the front and the back are properly tucked in and then pin it down and then go run a top stitch. And then I would have to go run a straight stitch all the way around. And by the time you're done doing this, that's it.